Hi everyone and welcome to this new channel, my name is Natoji and today we are reviewing Noxia Ultimate Guide, not only the card's accessory but also the brand new Merc and some beginner F2P team composition as well as some late game ones. Let's get started with the cards. First, double attack percent is the classic. Now, you can think about injury damage negative because most of the meta are dealing injury damage either on the weapon or on the chain skill, but this is not what you want because the positioning is key. Always be behind your ghost. So you should prioritize in the accessories and the stats, really the offensive side of Noxia to deal that much damage from a ghost, from herself, get back also some heal and deal a tremendous amount of damage on the skill. So I won't recommend going for injury damage, but really go for double attack percent. Up to you. Now today I'm excited because we are going to speak about the Merc. They are just coming to the game, you can check it out in your book. So let's go for it. First, we start by the big boys, the unique Merc. So just to be honest, I won't get into details yet in this video because this is just atrocious. The time, it's time gated. It's going to be a very long time. So anyway, just for saying, if you have Noxia, of course, the mouse Nari cushion will be the best here. It has that extra range damage by 25% of DPS once every two seconds. It has a nice attack plus 9% and defense plus 6%. After we go into the rare Merc, and here we'll pick first, of course, the UZ photocard set. It has that juicy dark type attack plus 20% and same, defense 9%, HP 3%. Also, there is the Meril cushion here. It's fantastic because skill damage plus 35% and Noxia can deal a bunch of it. It has also attack plus 12% and HP plus 3%. Overall, I will pick Meril for Noxia. Why? Because after you can change it on other unit, you can really use it across all the units. So this is more versatile. If you take the UZ, it's very nice too, but the issue is you will be close to use it only on Dark Heroes. And finally, I will also show you just the normal Merc. However, you will use those to upgrade and to be able to grind the higher tier Merc. So this will be just for a moment, but because you will have it. Let's speak about it first. The by Beckett with attack plus 3% and critical multiplier plus 7%. So once you crit, it can be juicy. Now, a very nice one is the Wang Shen Pinsenes. It has attack plus 3%, but critical it chance plus 3% too. Here we go for the accessory. And if you do not have any of the accessory I'm going to share with you today, please feel free to prioritize. Number one, weapon skill regen speed. Her skill deal tons of damage. So this is really helpful in any type of content. After you can go for critical rate because she has very good critical on the weapon overall and if you put a critical buffer on your party she's even dealing some better damage and of course after you go for skill damage percent and attack percent and anything else let's get started here quick minotaur's necklace first mention here i don't want to introduce it anymore into details but best for offensive this is my main to go now this is time gated by your battle medal so it will take you a long time to get this limit break additional little five percent here which is very nice but it has overall very good start the weapon skill regen the skill damage it's a very very good option this is my main to go after the mirror earring of nobility you must be end game able to find the mirror rift in order to get those in your shop and on the drops but overall a very good option here it has everything you need hopefully you can get that weapon skill region speed plus 12 percent so pretty good option pretty more tanky option for noxia the only little cons of course he does not have any critical rate 
And just a very short mention once again, the Earth necklace as one of the highest base death here, 137. So it gives a very nice tankiness and you have the weapon skill regen speed plus 10%. Defense decrease 100% negated, it won't matter that much because the main two you need are Ogma and Nari and actually Noxia can deal pretty easily with them but if you have nothing else in the epic range this is a good option. For the Legion accessory, first the Dark Magic Ring, very reasonable death stat, etc. But the weapon skill regen speed, once again, it's in there plus 10% and you have a nice skill damage plus 15%. Here we go with the Curse Necklace. Of course, this is Glass Cannon, 85 of death is horrible, but you have the Dark type attack plus 15%. So if it is sitting in your inventory, you can think about it. It has also a little bit of critical chance of 3%. So this is very early on if you are lucky because it has no weapon skill regen speed. For the unique, we start with the Amethyst of Earring. It has very reasonable defense overall, it has some attack percent, and you have that injury damage negated. We spoke about it for the cards. Actually, on the accessory here, it can make sense. So you can think about it. It has decent HP if you limit break it also as well. And it has that critical it chance, 3%. A viable option for Arena and Colosseum. Next here is the Sharpshooter, the best for the range. And here, if you are early on in the game, this is really worth any investment, any of your coins here. So you can crack up to 10% of critical hit chance. It has attack plus 12%, you get skill damage plus 12%, and HP 8%. A fantastic option early on for players, also as well for Noxia. The Crescent Moon Earring, very decent death, it has critical hit chance 5%, skill damage plus 16%, and after you have some attack percent 8%, HP plus 8% in the sub option, a very good option as well. And we finish with the famous gold pocket watch, very high death, 123, this is fantastic for unique accessories, like the sharpshooter, this is worth any of your penny early on if you want to invest in those, you will use them in the late game, and it has that weapon skill regen plus 10%, some HP, and you have also attack plus 8%, and skill damage plus 12%. Now my quick recommendation for the accessory, if I had to pick just one per type, as you understood, I'm using the Minotaurs and I love it, but this is really late late game and it is time gated, so I will rather recommend you go for the Mirror if you are late game and this is a perfect option here. For the Legion accessories, I will pick the Dark Magic because it has that nice weapon skill regen speed and also that skill damage plus 15%, so this is a very good option. And finally, for the unique accessories, I will still pick the gold pocket watch over the sharpshooter, which is very offensive, but just because 10% of weapon skill regen speed, that can really make the difference in some clutch situation, especially in arena. Now, if you are going just for red, PvE, Colosseum, you can just go sharpshooter all day long. And now it's time for the team comp and let's start with the F2P beginner for arena. I suggest you start with Craig because the dark element family does not have any tank except Ogma yet. So he is the best F2P tank you can find out there and he will help you on turn one to take some boxes after you have Noxia. And for the third spot, it's totally up to you. I put Coco in there just to have some elemental mix into it, but you can put Karina, which is the dark attack plus 50%. You can put also Gremory if you want to. She has also that nice skill damage. Or you can put any of the other like Elvira and Raquel which are the range attack percent unit. After for you Colosseum, we will follow the same reasoning in taking Craig as a tank. And you have two options. On the left side, it's a full chain skill. So it's a nice one to immobilize your enemy a bit longer with Gremory skill damage buff with also Elvira for the range attack buff. Very nice team. And for the team on the right side, we will just switch Elvira out and we will put Karina in for the dark attack party buff she has. Actually, it won't be a full chain skill, but she can bring also a little bit of healing and some nice boost to Grimory. So you will be able to have a good balance in terms of damage and a little bit of sustain. 
And for the Reds, finally, you have two options. On the left side, here, of course, you will want to main because you will put most of your resources early on in the game on your key character. So if it's Noxia, I suggest you go with Grimory, skill damage percent, also Raquel, range attack percent, and finally Coco, skill damage percent as well, just to optimize as much the damage output for Noxia skill damage. But also both Coco and Grimory can decrease on their normal attack the defense of the boss and this is key for the damage in that team here. And on the right side here, something more of a monodark centric option in putting Karina in the mix with Elvira and also Grimory. Because once again, you don't want any warrior tank in it. You want to deal damage. You want that range or that attack percent party buff in order to deal as much damage. And finally here, it's for the middle hashtag end game player i put pay to win here it was smaller to place on this artwork but you have the idea overall before to start noxia is very versatile you can even as you can see here on the bottom right corner when you have lean and future princess which are mostly melee of course she still shines very well and I could have put way more like A teams, also full dark with Arabelle for some trolling with Ogma, etc. But I just picked the classic. So let's start on the top left here. We have Gabrielle, Noxia, and Nari. By far, this is one of the most deadliest. All of them really synergize perfectly well. Now you can replace, of course, Bianca for Gabrielle, for example, as a critical buffer. But you get the idea. You need a critical buffer in the party and you need a ranged attack. And overall, it depends the map, the metas, etc. But this is a very nice combo. Now, if we move just below on the bottom left corner, we have that thick and that triple, <laughs> that triple. It's not a triple tank because she's not a tank, Noxia. She's a support. But we have future princess, Noxia and Ogma. This is the cheesy side. With that, this is more safe. It allows you to do some mistakes of course take some heat it's gonna make them so tanky so yeah it's a very nice cheesy team but you're gonna have some very long fight in arena after on the top right side you can go also as well with gabrielle noxia and ogma a pretty decent combo however it's not nice because you have some old two dark units in one team so you must be pretty lucky on the picks and finally as i mentioned before you have that lean future princess and noxia which is actually insanely good because when you know how to play noxia you let the ghost do most of the damage in the meaning of you are always placing yourself behind right so actually it makes sense and it really works nice in terms of damage as well now let's move into the Colosseum. On the top left, it's the classic. Future Princess, Nari, Noxia, Gabriel. Perfect synergy in between damage and sustain. A wonderful combo. Now you have an option below, which I am using. This is also my comp. This is Future Princess, Future Knight, Noxia, and Bianca. And actually, this team works pretty well too. On the top right corner, you have an uprising, more of a dark-centric type of comp here for the Colosseum. This is with the newly buffed Arabelle and this team already kicked my ass in the top 100s really just for fun but it worked. It was Arabelle, Nari, Ogma and Noxia. A pretty strong comp. It sounds like a trolling one but trust me it can deal a tremendous amount of damage and because when people don't see Future Princess, they think, okay, it's gonna be easy, it's only dark, I have my Future Princess as a tank. But Nari is still there, bringing down your defense, and also on the back of it, Noxia balance a little bit Ogma with that HP buff also for the party. So it's a pretty nice one. And finally below, it's a total troll one where you just take out Nari. It's not, of course, suggested, but it's just for fun. You can see from time to time with Lupina in it. Lupina had some buff lately in speed, etc. So she start to get that range and she can deal actually some pretty good damage too. And finally here for the Reds, for the Reds, same. Actually, Noxia is not optimal for the red. She has an HP party buff and you always want to have a unit that can really boost up damage. You want to deal as much damage as you can. But still, 
you can actually use her in some teams. So here I'm just giving some example. They have countless if you want to use her, but on the left side, this is for a mono team. If you want the Shen skill to get through, you can go for Arabel as a main, but also you can put Beth if it's better to get a faster rotation of your Shen skill depending the boss you are facing. This team works actually pretty well. I run it. Normally I use a Jean instead of Noxia here and I just have my cheap Arabel, but you can put Grimmery into it if you want to, whatever. But this is really working. It makes as much as the damage. So it's a pretty nice option for the Monodark here. And after for the right side, one of the mix, if you want to main Noxia, that's why I put her here just as a main because nobody, once again, you don't want to. If you have an Arabel, it will be better for the range, for example. So it depends really the boss. But you can go with Gabrielle for the critical buff. You can go with Barry for the skill damage. And finally, you can go also for Nari. And you get that full Shen skill here with some of the top range unit in the game. Now, if you're interested about all the other heroes, I have a full playlist. I will put it in the link description below and also around the screen here for the best build. And please let me know, guys, if I missed something here in this video about some accessories, some team comp, or please feel free to share your own setups around Noxia and the different type of content. It will be very helpful to the community. And once again, I thank you all. I'm very grateful. We are close to 1k subs. I cannot wait for it to unlock the community features really guys and to push up a little bit the volume together and as usual i wish you all to be safe to be well and until the next have fun guardians